Hello everybody, it's Mike, how you doing? It's been a while, I uh, miss you guys. Um, probably wondering what's happening with the record, I apologize, I haven't uh, said much about it. Uh, it was, it's all, the music's all done. Uh, I was getting to release it in uh, the beginning of April when uh, well, the world was put on hold, as you know, this craziness with COVID-19. And so my record got put on hold, couldn't finish up the pressing and some of the artwork and stuff, but <clears throat> hopefully, six weeks and stuff it's a it's a rock record it's got 11 songs on it i'm, I'm really really happy with it uh i say rock records i don't want to confuse you with any of the jazz nightcap stuff um or a country record or whatever uh this is uh you know this is rock and uh so i'm gonna release a song i think in three or four days on a facebook uh or a, a youtube instagram I, as you can see, I'm not really a technical genius. I'll get something out there so you can, you can hear at least one track. And then I'm going to try to finish up all this stuff, you know, one way or another so I can get it out to you guys because I, I can't wait for you to hear it. I hope you dig it. Um, this first song I'm going to play is called I Don't Know Much. It's actually, it's on the record. And uh, this, is, this is the acoustic version of the electric version that's on the record. Okay, it's called I Don't Know Much. <laughs>
uh, that one's on the record. It's called I Don't Know Much. I did a little tuning right now. A little tune up. Tune down, I should say. It's been a strange time, has it not, for all of us. I hope you guys are safe. Uh, hope you guys are doing okay. Um, I've been playing a lot of blues uh, here at the house. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes, somebody said this a long time ago, it's not my original thought, but he, let's say, it might have been B.B. King, I don't know, uh, said that when they got the blues, they and then they play the blues, it's like they get it out of their system and it makes them feel better. And I think the blues can do that. This is a song uh, called uh, Drifting Blues by Charles Brown, recorded in 1945. Um, doing a slightly different style. Uh, yeah, Charles Brown recorded it, wrote it. Uh, he's, his version is amazing, I, I can't touch it, but I, I love the song so much. Um, but it's, uh, for some reason the name of the band was Johnny Moore and the Blazers. I don't know what happened there. It's kind of like the Spencer Davis group. I mean, it should have been called the Stevie Winwood group as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's Harold and Maude back there. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Bud Court, Ruth Gordon. That's the, the Italian poster had better artwork. Uh, we got a little bit of the Beatles. I think that's George or Ringo over there. Um, anyway, uh, Drift in Blues, Charles Brown. Thank you 
Charles Brown for that one. Um, I'm gonna step out of frame here and pick up another guitar. All right, I'm just uh, just getting my Stratocaster over here. Uh, play a little electric for you. Um, my friend Rob uh, suggested, hey Mike, if you're gonna do a couple of acoustic songs, why don't you um, why don't you pick up your electric guitar and just you know play for the people like you're hanging out at your house, which I am. And uh, so I thank Rob for that suggestion. So I'm just gonna do a little improv. Uh, I've got a little delay in reverb on there. If you're all, for all you purists out there, I apologize. But uh, it's kind of fun to jam with it by yourself, some of that stuff on there. All right, what the heck. For ooh, four minutes, that was over four minutes. <laughs> oh well, if you can handle Joe Exotic for five hours, maybe you can handle me playing uh, in E minor for four minutes. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to an acoustic and do uh, another song for you here. Going out of frame again. 
I think I just, uh, how is everybody? I think I just like saying the term out of frame, like it's some big production here or something. <laughs> Um, I love to write songs. Um, I've told you guys I missed you a lot. I have missed you. Um, I love to write songs. I thought I'd play something that I wrote. I think I wrote it like two days ago. The newest song I wrote. And uh, at first, um, this this whole uh, Corona thing, I was um, kind of depressed. I wasn't writing anything and. I know I, I I came across this song in my mind somewhere, and it just it, it's a it's a pretty simple song, and it's I think it's semi uplifting. Some people say that, you know, our tunes, my tunes, sometimes are a little melancholy, a little down, whatever. This one is uh, more positive than that, and really really simple, and a little silly, whatever. It's what happens when you're <clears throat> at home a lot. This one's called, uh, this one's called Tell Her. Tell her you love her these ten times a day. Tell her you need her in every way. If you want to be a fella, tell her. Tell her, tell her when she's down and needs a helping hand. Tell her you understand. You can talk to her, you know, unlike old Yeller. And tell her, yeah, tell her. When I was a boy, thought it was cool. Alexander Graham Beller and tell her if you're sorry for something you've done though a vow of silence might be good for none if I were you I'd just climb out of that cellar and just tell her little simple tune hey um thank you guys for watching and uh, again i'm trying to hurry that record out as soon as i can get these things pressed up you have to go there in person anyway and uh i miss you all i love you all and i'll, I'll put something up on youtube shortly um and uh, stay safe and uh you know love each other thank you we'll see you later